to Jeff Fisher, congratulations. You played yourself. So they finally fired this dude. And uh, you guys know I'm not big on sports, but I'm big on respect. And I have no respect for Jeff Fisher because of what he did to Eric Dickerson. And he told Eric Dickerson pretty much not to come down to any of the games. And Eric Dickerson was like, all right, I'm not going to come down to any of the games. He was, he was like, he told ED, we don't want you around talking crazy to, you know, our team. Now, this is a guy who just got off, uh, uh, what, he lost eight games? And he had two four-game uh, losing streaks. I mean, what, he's, he lost more than that. He's lost like nine games. Nonetheless, he's been with him for 12 years, and he hasn't had a winning season in, what, five years or something like that? He has terrible stats. Uh, he's one of the highest-paid head coaches. Uh, so he had something going on to be there that long because uh, it's just surprising he was able to, you know, just just to hold his job that long. He'll probably go teach college ball or something. But nonetheless, they just lost to, who was it, Atlanta? You know, made them look terrible, 42-12. to 12. <laughs> You know what I mean? So they got rid of Jeff Fisher. But you played yourself, Jeff. You should not have bring attention to yourself even though everybody in L.A. was already looking at you, you should have just shut your mouth and let Eric Dickerson, you should have let Eric Dickerson do whatever in the heck he wanted on the sideline. If that man wanted to to, to freaking, I don't know, do whatever on that sideline, you should have just let him. You shouldn't have said a word to Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson is one of the all-time greats in football, but he is definitely probably the marquee player of the Rams. It, I don't know. I can't think of anybody who was more of an outstanding player in franchise history of the Rams than Eric Dickerson. He was the reason why I watched the Rams. I mean, he was, that was just it. And I tell you, look, I haven't watched a full game of football in years. I just don't watch sports anymore because I think it's all fixed. But I haven't watched a game in, in years. I haven't watched a game of basketball since 1998 or something like that. I just don't watch it anymore. And I'm, I'm a Steeler fan. But I used to watch all the teams. Like, we had respect for it, the Oilers. We had respect for any team getting out there because any running back was a threat. And that's the era I grew up in, the era of the running back. And E.D. was my boy. I was never a Rams fan, but I was an E.D. fan. And you should have never brought attention to yourself. Listen, I'm not a fan of Stephen A. Smith, but he went off when – uh, Fisher uh, said that to Eric Dickerson, and he was like, "This is a this is now a good reason for you to fire him." And uh, I, for once, I really agreed with Stephen A. Smith when he was like, "Fire him!" And he was like, at the top of his lungs, "Fire him! This is a good reason, finally, for you to get rid of this guy who's been around for twelve years and hasn't taken you to a winning season in five years." I mean, get rid of him. So they finally got rid of him, and uh, as far as the sports world's concerned, I mean, I'm sure, you know, somebody's rejoicing somewhere. It's just now, what are you going to do for a head coach? You know what I mean? Uh, because you can't blame everything on the head coach. You can blame a lot of it on him, but you can't blame everything. If your team sucks, uh, it does start with the head coach, you know, but uh, a lot of times the players, you know, they may not be – they may not be meshing for some uh, reason or another. You may have a superstar or two on there just not getting the job done. You need to rebuild your team. And, you know, so you start with the head coach and you work your way down. Head coach, quarterback, uh, offensive line, and then you keep working, you know, through their offense, defense. Nonetheless, it's your boy Tone 202. And uh, once again, Jeff Fisher, congratulations. You played yourself.